Machakos High Court has ordered a prisoner to report his claims of torture to the Machakos police station after he presented medical records to the court. According to Dominic Nzangi, he was tortured by prison warders at the Machakos GK prison, but the prison's management has denied his claims. Bridget Ngana has that story. <laughs> For a moment, proceedings at this high court in Machakos turned into a back and forth between Dominic Nzangi, a convict, and his custodians at the Machakos GK prison. <laughs> He claims that in February this year he was assaulted by prison warders, something the officers deny. That's a very big allegation, Your Lordship. This is number two. It's the only thing that comes and has an end of people now also in charge of security. Now also in charge of the bear jail. And now go out of the city and the two of the city. From the duty officers, can you go to the city? It's the only thing that comes and has an end of people. Nzangi presented medical records to the court as evidence of his injuries sustained from the beatings by the wardens, prompting Justice Kimei to instruct that the convict record a statement of his claims at the Machakos police station. According to the Prevention of Torture Act of 2017, subsection 6, it says... Where an allegation of torture is made in respect of a police officer, the procedures of investigation provided for under Section 87 of the National Police Cap 84 Service Act and Sections 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29 of Number 35 of 2011, the Independent Policing Oversight Authority Act of 2011 shall apply. Even convicts like Nzangi can now institute legal proceedings against the prison services once the case has been logged on the occurrence book and his statement recorded. Hopefully, he will not be victimized for pursuing his rights. Bridget Ngana, NTV.